Hi, my name is Chef Lance Hatcher here at Dale Commons in Modesto. Uh, today we're going to be recreating um, a classic French uh, dessert, uh, Crepe Suzette, which is inspired by our uh, breakfast at Tiffany's month this month. So first thing we're going to start off with is, if you don't have a mixer, you don't need a mixer. You can do it by hand as well, but it's, uh, it's best to do it in a mixer. So we're going to start off with four eggs. Then we're going to do three tablespoons of all-purpose flour. Three tablespoons of cold water. two tablespoons of melted butter, and then because it is orange, we want to put a little bit of the zest in there. Now the zest of an orange is just the actual color of the orange. We don't want the white part of the orange in there. So we're going to scrape it off here. You want roughly about a uh, two teaspoons in here to give it that nice orange flavor. If you want more, you can put more in there as well too. Take it back here to the mixer. Make sure it's clamped down so it doesn't fly off. We're going to start off on low to make sure that it uh, gets all incorporated. And then we'll get it on high. That'll make sure that it gets all mixed, mixed together. We don't have any lumps in our crepes. So while that's going right there, we're going to start on the sauce. Now the sauce on high heat, high heat right here, we want to get it nice and hot and then we're going to add our liqueurs and a little bit of butter to tighten it up a little bit and a little bit of the orange zest again to give it that citrusy taste. Okay, so while that's heating up there, I also have the pan over here for the crepes, which we want on high because crepes are very, very thin and they're going to cook really, really fast. Roughly about 30 seconds per side. So while that's mixing, we're going to stop it. And you want to scrape the bowl to make sure you get all the, the flour off the sides. And we're going to turn it back on again. This time on high. Okay, so while that's gone, we have this here. And it's nice and hot. So what we'll want to do first is we want to put, again, roughly about a teaspoon of that orange zest. Turn this off now, it's done mixing. And here comes the fun. <laughs> right, a little bit of brandy. <laughs> and triple sec. Let that reduce a little bit. By reducing it, we're taking the alcohol flavor out, but we're still keeping the alcohol, sorry, the alcohol out, but the alcohol flavoring is still going to be in there. So we're going to boil, let that boil here for roughly about uh, 30 to 45 seconds and let those marry up. Then what we're going to do, add some orange juice. Now again, if, you had, if you're doing this for uh, children, you do not need the liquor. You can do straight orange juice and just reduce it down until it's almost a syrup. And that'll still give it the orange flavor. It just won't give it the kick that uh, adults like Grand Marnier. Want. You could do Grand Marnier as well too. So we're going to put in roughly about a half a cup. And let that reduce. OK, 
Okay, so while that's going right there, our pan is nice and hot over there. I put a little uh, pan spray in our nonstick pan right here. You can do butter as well if you'd like. And um, whichever you have, does not matter. So with that, you're going to put roughly about uh, two ounces of your crepe batter in a six inch uh, omelet pan. And you're going to swirl it around. Okay, remember I told you it only takes a couple of seconds on these things, so um, then we'll start working it around here. You can have a plastic spatula. I like using a offset or a, uh, a cake spatula. And this is what you're going to end up with right here. Wow. Beautiful. And again, it only takes a couple of seconds. Then what we'll do is we're going to take it, we're going to fold it in half, fold it in half again to have a triangle, and we're going to put it on our serving plate up here. I'm going to make a couple more here really quick. That's what the secret is. <laughs> okay, again, roughly about 30 seconds. I'm going to work it away from the, the pan. And as you can see, our, uh, our orange triple set glaze right here is uh, reducing nice and well. We'll come back to that here in a second and uh, add the finishing touches on that. This time I'll turn off the heat so the, the residual heat will cook the rest of it there. Fold it in half, fold it in half again. There we go. So we have three crepes right there. Clean this area off a little bit. So the last finishing touches here is we have our orange brandy, triple sec, or Cointreau, or Grand Marnier glaze, it's done halfway, then what we want to do is we want to finish it off with some butter. So right here, I have roughly about a quarter of a pound of butter that we're going to whisk in. And by whisking it in, we're going to incorporate all this into almost like a thicker glaze without actually having to reduce it anymore. So this butter emulsifies all of this orange goodness in here. So once the butter's melted and it's incorporated, you'll be able to see the thickness. And at that point, it's ready to serve. Now the way that I serve it is again, I have three crepes to a plate 
and I'll pour the glaze right over it and we'll garnish it with any type of citrus you like. Uh, you can do, if you do this with a grapefruit uh, liqueur or something, you can do grapefruit. Orange is the classic uh, Suzette. Um, I've seen it where we can do it with cherries. Um, you name it, you can probably do it. You just want the liqueur to actually um, be the same as the fruit that you're putting it on there. So at this point, we'll turn it off. I have this nice, rich, thick glaze right here. Okay, and we're going to just spoon it over our hot crepes right here. Like so. And I've got some, uh, some mandarin orange segments here that we're just going to sprinkle on the top here for a garnish. If you have some mint, you can put mint on there as well to, to offset the colors. Um, again, um, I've seen restaurants do it to where they actually put the crepes back in the liqueur right here and let it cook in there, but I find that sometimes it gets the crepe actually a little soggy. So this is the way that I prefer it to here. So this right here is my version of the French Classic Crepe Suzette.